Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list. And as always, if you see new kanji in today's list, we're going to go over it by reading, uh, going over its readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji. If you see a new word but it's made of kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meanings of the kanji and how they come together to make our new word. If you don't want to listen to me write things and say them out loud as I do so, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead to the word explanations. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. Our first word of the day is ryōkai. Ryō on the left side for to complete or finish, and kai on the right side for understanding or an unraveling of something. So ryōkai is to have a complete or finished understanding of something. It can also mean okay or roger, like if you're using walkie-talkies. Ryōkai is a complete or finished understanding of something. Is to have a complete or finished understanding, aka Roger that. Ryokai. Number two is a ketsu go. Ketsu on the left side for tying or binding, and go on the right side for joining. So ketsu go is a tied joining of something, aka a combination or a union, or the bond itself between the things. Ketsu go is a combination or a bond. Ketsu go this. Ketsu go. It's a tied joining of two things, aka a combination or bond. Ketsugo. Ketsugo desu. Number three is tsukairu. Tsukairu is our new intransitive verb for serving someone, working for someone, or attending to someone. Tsukairu with our kanji for serving and attending. Tsukairu desu. Tsukairu is to serve, work for, or attend to. Tsukairu. Tsukairu desu. Number four is iki. Itsu on the left side for one, and iki, or ki on the right side, sorry, for an energy spirit or air itself. So iki is in one air, literally translated, but means in one breath or in one drink. One breath or one chug is iki. Iki is literally one air or one breath. Iki. Iki desu. In one breath or in one chug. Ikki. Number five is a tensai or a heavenly disaster or misfortune. So tensai is literally a natural calamity or a disaster. Tensai. This one's a pretty straight translation. Tensai this. Tensai has another meaning uh, as a genius, but that is not this tensai. This is that is a different tensai. It's written differently. It doesn't count. Tensai is literally translated a calamity sent from heaven, but a natural disaster will suffice. Tensai is a natural disaster or a calamity. Tensai this. Tensai is our natural disaster. Number six is Yaya. This is ya, which is no, followed by ya, which is also no. So this is ya ya. Like, I, I don't want to do that. No, 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 not at all. Literally translated, no, no. <laughs> um, but it can also be an adverb um, with ya ya ni, meaning unwillingly or grudgingly, as if with a ya ya. While saying no, no, he did something. Ya ya is our adverb or noun, meaning no, no. Or adverb meaning, yes, but I have reservations. 
。いやいやです。いやいや。いやいや。Number seven is Nasake Bukai. Nasake on the left side for feelings and emotions, and Fukai on the right side translated to Bukai since this is a K sound. Nasake Bukai is a deep. Or, sorry, a feeling that is deep. Nasake bukai is, is I think it's, it's an E adjective. For compassionate, tender hearted, or charitable. Nasake bukai is having deep emotions on things, aka compassionate or kind hearted. Nasake bukai. Nasake bukai desu. Nasake bukai is having deep emotions or being compassionate. Nasake bukai. Nasake bukai is compassionate or tender and care. <clears throat> caring. Nasake bukai, having deep emotion. Or being compassionate. <clears throat> Number eight is our first super easy one with all katakana kategori. A kategori is a category, directly from the English category. Kategori is a category. Kategori. Kategori is a category. Number nine is uso tsuki. Uso on the left side for a lie, and tsuki on the right side for an attachment. Or an, uh, this is our new noun for someone who does attach lies to things. And uso tsuki is a liar. Uso tsuki this is our word, new noun for a liar. And uso tsuki. Uso tsuki is a liar. It's been a while since I wrote this one.、Yeah. Get all the strokes right here. Usotsuki is a liar. Usotsuki is a liar. Number 10 is kareru. With our new kanji, kareru, hoka ni ko, or kaku, meaning to dry up or to mature. Radicals in this kanji are on the left side, we have、um, water, and on the right side, we have our kanji for hardening or.、Um, What's this mean? Or clotting, sorry. So, this is the removal of water to a dry or dried up or hardened state. I'm thinking of mud that's drying up and kind of clotting after the water has been removed. Ko or kaku. Hoka ni kareru is to dry up or to mature. Kareru being our new intransitive verb for something that is drying up. Kareru is to dry up or mature. Kareru. Hoka ni Ko or kaku. Kareru. Ko or kaku is to dry up or mature. Kareru. Ko or kaku is to dry up or mature. Kareru. Ko. Ka ni kaku. To dry up or to mature. Kareru. Number 11 is Hu Sai. Hu on the left side for a loss or, in this case, a responsibility. And Sai on the right side, our new kanji for a bond, debt, or loan, with the radicals for a person on the left and a condemning on the right. So a condemned person is one with a debt or a bond. Sai is a bond, debt, or loan with the person's condemnation. Sai is a person's condemnation or their debt. Or bond to something else. Fusai no sai is a debt, loan, or bond to someone. Fusai no sai. So, fully translated, this kanji is,、um, well, literally translated, 
hoot on the left side for responsibility, and sai on the right side for bond or debt. It's their responsibility to a debt, aka their liabilities or their debt itself. Fusai no sai is a debt, loan, or bond. Fusai no sai is a debt, loan, or bond. Fusai no sai. Plus fu on the right side for responsibility, but also loss in other contexts. Fusai is a debt or a loan. Fusai this. And finally, number 12 is nenji. Nen on the left side for year and next on the right side. So nenji is literally translated year next, but means annual, annual, um, colloquially, or the fiscal school year rather than the entire year. Nenji is annual. Nenji this. Nenji is annual. Nenji this is annual. Nenji is annual. Nenji. Ninji this. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we put some good pins in our brain where all these memorizations are eventually going to go. Make sure you're making flashcards out of these bad boys and immersing yourself in Japanese to get a full, nice, um, you know, round education. Our first word was a comprehension, understanding, or okay and Roger over a um, over the walkie talkies. Ryo on the left side for complete or full, and kai on the right side for untying, unwinding, or understanding. Ryo kai is a full understanding or understood. A combination, a union, or a bond is a ketsugo. Ketsu on the left side for a bond or tying, and go on the right side for a joining or union. Ketsugo is a union or a bond. To serve, to work for, or to attend to is tsukaeru with our kanji for serving or attending to, tsukaeru, an intransitive verb for some, for attending to someone. Uh, in one breath or in one chug is ikki, with itsu on the left side for one, and ki on the right side for air, spirit, or energy. A natural calamity or a disaster is a tensai, ten on the left side for heaven, and sai on the right side for a disaster. Pretty straight, direct one-to-one -one translation there. Willingly, reluctantly, unwillingly, sorry, sor sorry, um, <laughs> unwillingly, reluctantly, or no, not at all, literally translated no, no, is yeah, 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 is no, no, I don't think so. But can also be an adverb with ya ya ni, meaning uh, reluctantly or unwillingly do something. Tender hearted or compassionate is nasake bukai, nasake on the left side for feelings and emotions, and bukai on the right side for deep. Having deep emotions is being compassionate. A category is directly from the English category with kategori. Kategori is a category. A liar is an usotsuki. Uso on the left side for a liar, or a lie, I should say. And ski on the right side which sounds like attaching, like he's someone who attaches lies. Usotsuki is a liar. To dry up or to run out is kareru, with our new kanji with water on the left, and drying up or clotting on the right. Kareru, okani ko or kaku, is to dry up or to mature. Debt or liabilities are fusai, with fu on the left side being our kanji for loss, but also responsibility, and sai on the right side for a person's condemnation to a debt. Fu sai no sai is a debt, bond, or loan. And finally, the an finally our uh, new adjective for annual is nenji, but can also mean a fiscal year or a school year. Nen on the left side for year, and ji on the right side for next, meaning it will happen again next year. Nenji is annual. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good old-fashioned Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow.
Today, Wednesday? Thursday. We'll be out of here Thursday. Mokyo, BYU, Nestaka. Inara, Ikedo. Ja. Mata. Mashita, Desho. Janet.